Hello everyone, this is the Domestic Ginger. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make, um, I don't know what to call it, like a burn victim I guess? Like someone who's been set on fire. Um, this one's about, I think, five feet tall. I'm going to walk you out and show you the first one I made. Um, especially since that was like a really cheap plastic. What you're going to need is adhesive spray, some painter's plastic, or you can use garbage bags, it really doesn't matter, some sort of plastic, and a stain, kind of like, I don't know, I'm using red mahogany, but you can use any type of dark stain and I'm not sure if I'm gonna put um, guts inside of this one like I did the other one but if you do this like window insulation stuff is perfect and the only tool you're really gonna need is this beauty this is a heat gun you cannot use a hair dryer. You need a heat gun. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks at Lowe's. Awesome. The other arm ended up coming off. Whatever, it makes it a little easier for now. Um, don't forget to flip it over. I forgot to mention that. If your arms don't come off, just be very careful. I'm probably just going to fix mine with super glue.
you're going to need a sponge or some kind of brush and your dark stain. You don't have to get a whole lot on here. Um, and make sure to go the way of the ribs. There's kind of no real way to screw this up. I mean, you just slap plastic on, use the heat gun, stain it. Oh, and then there's also, you need to use, like, um, I use a glow-in-the-dark yellow paint. And you put it on very finely so you can barely see it. Because when flesh burns, it's not all like shiny. And all this does is make it shiny. I mean, if you don't want to use the yellow, you don't have to use the yellow. I mean, it takes a lot of work off of it and kids are going to be seeing it in the dark. So it's really not that big of a deal. Well, that's if you use it for yard decoration. We're just going to be doing the front. I love the ribs because they're just like poking out right now. I might use the heat gun and poke a hole like right there and then have some guts coming out. We shall see. Okay, so you go ahead and you keep painting and I'll show you what the front looks like after I'm done. Okay, so his back side is now done. Um, I let him like hang out here with the fan on overnight. Now you're going to take a yellow. I forgot to mention this in the beginning. Um, I am using like a, I think it's a glow-in-the-dark yellow or something. But you need it. See, what happens is when you burn a body, apparently it's not shiny. Ooh, and look at those ribs. I'm so proud of those ribs. They're sticking out really good. Um, this is going to be a little bit time consuming. 
but you're going to take a little bit of yellow and just slop it on there, I guess. But you're going to do it really thin. You're also going to find that he's, or she, whatever, is really sticky. I used yellow on the first guy, so it's going to look good. You just have to thin it out really well. You won't use much yellow, but like I said, it will be time consuming spreading it out everywhere. Once you're done with the back, um, you can flip them right over because this dries quick, especially with the fan on. And then you can start the front. And then I'll show you what it looks like when that's all done. See, that's still not thin enough. You just got to keep going until you can barely see any yellow. Okay, so I finished with him. The yellow hasn't completely dried yet, um, but once it dries, it'll look a whole lot better. If you find any spots that are like really thick with yellow, just take a rag and wipe it. It's not a big deal because eventually it will uh, fade out. Well, not really fade, but I guess, I don't know, look like this. I really can't get over the ribs. They look awesome. Alright, so I decided not to um, do any guts inside of him and like have him hanging out because, you know, teenagers and stuff have dirty minds and if they see something with like intestines hanging out, they might, you know, think it's something else. So I decided not to go with that. Um, what you can do is you can, you can use a heat gun on that and do insides like I did this little fella out here. All you do is take that great stuff and just make little swirls inside the stomach and spray a little bit of water in there. Wait for it to harden, probably about 10 minutes, and then just stain it. And you might have to do like two or three coats, but it will be done. All right, I'm going to go hang him up outside, and I'll show you what he looks like out there. Okay, so this is what he looks like hung up. I took a couple of eyes from the dollar store. I'm going to... I think a 12 pack for a dollar and I super glued him and there you go that's how you uh, make a, a burnt corpse